Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful holiday filled with lots of fun, friends, and family. It's 2019 now, and I'm sure many of you have made New Year's resolutions. Now, making resolutions is a great first step. Sticking to them, not always the easiest thing to do. So I've put together this list of 10 tips, not only to help you stick to your New Year's resolutions, but to make 2019 an extremely productive year. Here we go. Number one, write everything down. Now, you never know when inspiration will strike, and no matter how amazing or earth-shattering or game-changing your idea is, you will forget it if you don't write it down somewhere. I can't tell you how many great ideas I've had that simply just disappeared because I didn't write them down. As soon as it comes to you, put it down on paper, write it on a napkin, make a note in your phone so that you do not forget. Okay, so along those lines, number two, always carry a notebook. If you're going to write things down, you're going to need something to write them in. Personally, the phone, I lose things in there. I need to actually put it down in an old school way in a notebook. I've used several different kinds of notebooks over the years. I've used a Moleskine, a Smithson, but my favorite notebook for the last, oh, about a year and a half or so has been this one right here by La Compagnie du Craft. Now, my favorite part about keeping all of my ideas in a notebook is that when you thumb through it at the end of the year, it's actually pretty interesting to look at and it's almost kind of a work of art in itself. Number three is to find a method of keeping track of things that you like. You know, do you like to write out complete sentences? Do you prefer bullet points or diagrams or sketches? Personally, for me, it's kind of a little bit of each of those things. You know, when you find the method that works best for you, it makes it much easier to review and actually understand all of those thoughts that you have written down. Number four, complete small tasks each day. There is no better feeling than knowing that you have accomplished something at the end of every single day. Every day, maybe it's the night before, make a list of things that you know are attainable. Maybe it's go to the grocery store, go to the gym, read a magazine. And then once you finish those tasks, number five, cross them off your list. Like actually physically put a line through those tasks that you have written down for that day. Even if they're small tasks, I can tell you that the act of crossing something off is a small victory and that has a huge effect on your morale. Okay, from thinking small and immediately attainable, we're moving to number six, which is to think big as well. As you think about all of those small goals, try to step back and get a sense of the bigger picture and how all of those small goals can help you get closer to achieving something much larger as well. Now, one of the things that can help you visualize this bigger, more macro picture is number seven, which is to create a document that has all of this information mapped out and right there for you to see. I'm personally a very big picture kind of guy. When I think of things, I think of where that thing might lead in like three or five years. I've been in the habit of making big Google spreadsheets, color-coded, the whole deal. Now, this is not a simple exercise. It's not something you can sit down and fire off in like 10 minutes or so. It takes time and it takes a lot of thought, but if you put that work in, it helps make everything come into an amazing focus, which in turn gives you much more purpose and a clear direction. Number eight, make some personal goals. Now, for me, I tend to get really, really focused on projects. For the past six years or so that has been my business but i've also realized it's important to spend some time on me as well and that's been anything from prioritizing fitness and going to the gym working on running six minute miles or sub six minute miles doing the new york times crossword puzzle every night or just spending time doing nothing to allow all of the information that i consume throughout the day to just kind of settle inside of me Number nine is to share your goals with others. There's absolutely nothing better for accountability than sharing what your goals and plans are with other people. Maybe you could even ask them to you know, check in with you every so often to see how you're doing. There's nothing more motivating than having someone you trust and respect hold you accountable for something. It's almost like if you ask them to do that, you feel like morally obligated to follow through. Finally, number 10. Celebrate your success. Now, this is a big one. You know, when you achieve some kind of success, take the time to enjoy it. All too often, I think, when we finish a task or achieve a goal, even a big one, we immediately move on to the next thing. Maybe it's because we don't want to be self-congratulatory or something like that, or we think that we don't have time to actually celebrate. But do yourself a favor and take the time to do that because you know what? You deserve it. I hope those tips were helpful. They've definitely helped me over the years. It's a list that I like to revisit every single year. It keeps me focused. It keeps me on task. It reminds me to accomplish small things every day, but also to keep 
the bigger picture in mind as well. I would love to hear the ways that you guys have found helpful to stick to your New Year's resolutions. Leave those down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. We have so much good stuff coming up on the channel this year. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.